Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you enjoy this video till the very end. This examine is quite interesting. He doesn't hesitate to ask questions about things that fall within the boundaries of the exam regulations and he isn't the least bit concerned about being polite with the examiners. It's like he'd rather die than use the card, as if using it meant that he'd be admitting defeat. He's a tough nut to crack. Somebody save us, we don't understand a single word of Romani. Even if the audio was played on loop for a whole day, I would still understand nothing. Who was that? What's wrong? Uh, what'd you say? He said that the Black Widow's Romani had Persian and Russian words mixed in. You're certain? My maternal grandfather is from Russia, so while I'm not fluent, my vocabulary isn't bad. I also took Persian as an elective when I was in college, so I'm able to understand a bit of both languages. As the Romani people migrated from one place to another, they were often influenced by locals, thus their language contained foreign words. They would also learn the local language, just like how the Black Widow is able to understand the Chinese spoken by the examinees. The village chief has mentioned that the Black Widow traveled with her Russians to escape the war. The influence of our Russian company is probably why her Romani is intermingled with foreign languages. Hurry, tell us, what is it? What did you hear? Grave? Flower? Needle? Sun? That's it. What was the problem again? Number one, Black Widow's name. Number two, where the Black Widow's family is. And number three, how many people are in the Black Widow's house. Which question can be answered with those four words? The villagers. Mm hmm. What about them? There are people out and about on the other side of the river. They're probably the villagers. They really are. The village chief said that the villagers come out in the evenings and that's when things are livelier. However, is it really considered lively when there are just two or three people? Yuho, where are you going? Did you buy those clothes with points? Although I've received special gifts from you, I'm a rather generous person. I don't mind giving you some advice. Not many people will be able to pass this exam. Anyhow, I haven't seen many people pass during my time as an examiner. For most examinees, it's best not to waste your points early on. Come, Giselle, the ice is over here. Give your advice to somebody else. I don't need it. You must be the new visitors. The chief mentioned you. Yes, we arrived this morning. Are you living on the other side of the river? Hmm. You... Have you gone to the Black Widow's place? Yeah, we were there the whole afternoon. Oh, what did you do there? We made a few dolls. I don't know if you've seen them before. There were also a couple of us that didn't make them. No, typically only visitors go and visit the Black Widow. We rarely go across the river. There have been other visitors? Yeah, they were pretty similar to you guys, always arriving in groups. So, what happened to them? I don't think any of them ever left. What? What do you mean by none of them ever left? 
You're quite talented at humoring others. I think I've... I think I've seen you somewhere before. Who? Us? Yes. I've seen you before. Where? I've definitely seen you. I have seen you. Ah, uh, there he goes again. Don't mind him, he's not quite right in the head. It comes and goes. Whenever it happens, he'll grab onto people and say, You've seen familiar, have I seen you before? If not that, he'll ask, Do you recognize me? You remember me? You recognize me, right? Do you remember me? See, just like that. How did he get like this? He's always been like this. Hey, come and help me. Let's take him back first. I think it's gonna last for a while. I'm sure I've seen them. I've definitely seen them before. Maybe don't drag him like that. Do you need any help? It's fine. You don't need to. We're all used to this. When he gets like this, he becomes pretty strong. If you don't drag him like this... You're the Black Widow's guest. We don't welcome strangers into our houses. Are the villagers like NPCs? Was that like one of the fixed plot lines? It's best not to intervene since we don't know the whole situation yet. Do any of you understand Romani? No, no one knows. But the village chief told us that she works with the dead. If no one knows Romani, how do you communicate with her when you require her services? It's always the visitors who go looking for her. We have no need to. Moreover, she wasn't always by herself. There used to be an old man and a couple of kids who didn't always speak Romani. An old man? Kids? Were they the Black Widow's family? Probably. Where are they now? Where'd they go? They left, maybe to go back home? In any case, they just disappeared one day. Is there anyone who knows? No, no one dares to ask the Black Widow. Are there any graves here? See these woods? The forest is the grave. This part of the woods, they're all graves. This part of the woods, they are all graves. Wait. What do you want? It's dark out now. Don't grab me. I have to go home. She's quite strong. You guys should hurry back too. It's dark now. What happens when it's dark? Everyone comes out for a bit either in the afternoon or in the early evening, but we all head back before dark. The village chief mentioned before that you guys don't go out when it's dark. There are ghosts at night. They are everywhere. They'll knock on your doors. Open your windows. They stand by your bedside or lurk underneath your bed. You have to be careful. Shh. What do we do now? We haven't gotten any leads for the listening exam. We... Why don't we go back and study the recording? I'm going into the forest. You're going where? Wait, at least take a light with you. Somebody, anybody, give me a flashlight. A phone works too. My phone battery died during the afternoon. Damn it. I can't just let him wander around in the graveyard by himself. Everyone was recording the entire afternoon. All of our phones are basically dead at this point. I won't use the little battery I have left on the flashlight, since my phone will only last a couple of more minutes before it shuts down. 
the experience members. What about you two? Did you bring a flashlight? No. The rest stop was selling them, but our point total was way too pitiful, so we didn't dare buy anything. Then, might I suggest the light stick that I bought for 0 0.5 points? Can it be used? If you were going to buy something, why buy a light stick? Even a box of matches would be better than this. I've read a lot of novels. There are places where fire can't be used. Hurry up, Lao Yu. You won't be able to catch up if you wait any longer. I'm coming too. Yuho, where'd he go? Are they really this reckless during exams? Should we go too? They already said that that place is a graveyard. If you want to go, then go. I am heading back. Can't you be a little more civil? There are people following you. You sure you don't need a light? I can lend you one. I've got fantastic night vision, so there's no need to worry about me. Can't you shut up and just be silent for a while? I don't want to. Who's shouting? Yu ho, Yu ho, where are you? Yu ho! That way, that way, I see them! Yu ho, we finally found you! Damn you, for heaven's sake! What were you searching for that made you decide you had to go into the forest? Just taking a look. Then did you find anything? If you didn't, why don't we head back first? Look. A row of graves. How'd you even find this kind of place? The Black Widow entered this part of the forest in the afternoon. Does your phone have any battery left? Just a bit. Take a picture. And copy it into the Black Widow store. Why? Are you trying to drive the Black Widow mad? What's on the gravestone? The name of the deceased, a photo, the date of the birth, and the date of death? Also the relatives of the deceased and the person who carved it. That's right, the gravestones were carved by the Black Widow. The Black Widow's name is definitely engraved on them. Why'd you step on me? Do you think I'm that bored? Who knows? Who kicked me? The pictures are all blurry now. It wasn't me, nor me. If you didn't kick me, and he didn't either, who else could it have been? Th that way seems to be... The village.
Are we really just gonna ignore them? It doesn't feel right. How many exams have you taken already? Why are you so indecisive? Hmm? This exam is based on team score. As long as the question is answered correctly, everyone will receive points. So what's the point in rushing over? If they're able to find any clues or evidence, then that's great. If they don't, we don't owe them anything. In the future, we'll have the chance to return the favor. But what if they don't find anything? What if something happens to them? Then, it's because they were reckless. We tried to warn them, didn't we? Both the driver that brought us here and the villagers have told us not to go into the forest. They knew what they were getting into. To be honest with you, I've taken three exams already. And this is a phrase that has personalized with me the most. We need to value our lives. Not everyone has to rush forward. Don't place all your eggs in a single basket. Even kids understand meaning behind that. This can also be considered as leaving ourselves a line of retreat. If something happens to them, we'll be able to pack up the sack. This is our only chance at success. Liang Yanhao, you've calculated all the outcomes, just like a human calculator. Let's not talk about this anymore. I'm going to sleep. You should hurry up and get some sleep too. I'm looking for naughty guests. Did you see any dolls today? Tell me, did you see any dolls today? This is the last time I'm asking, did you see any dolls today? I did. I sued. We both sued. Oh, what obedient guests I have. Then you can both live. Who sued the most? Me. I did it. I sued two legs. He only sued half an arm. Then that's great. The section is just like It wasn't all that scary. Everyone said not to enter the woods, but we stayed there all night and nothing happened. I was terrified, to be honest. But we're still alive and unharmed, that's true. You guys go ahead. This building is... That crazy villager's house? You're looking for that villager? Do you believe in what he said yesterday? Something about recognizing you? No. I thought that because Yihu suffered from memory loss, he'd be sensitive about things like this. If that villager was telling the truth, then it had to be part about 001. Yesterday, that madman's eyes were unfocused. But Benny looked towards him. His eyes lit up for a moment. His expression was especially sincere at the moment when he said, You recognize me. However, at that time, he was facing the other way, so I couldn't see. He also didn't seem to have much of a reaction. Moreover, whether Mr. Zero One knows the NPC and whether he acknowledged him, it's none of my business. I'm only knocking because that madman has loose lips, and it'd be easy to get information out of him. It's been five minutes and there hasn't been any movement. Maybe he's too afraid to come out? Or maybe he hasn't gotten up yet? The village chief said that all of the villagers are afraid of the things that happen at night, so they all try their hardest to stay asleep longest. Let's wait till evening. It's almost time to submit our answers, so let's hurry back to the problem first. <laughs>